Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create a thousand petal lotus mandala in Affinity Designer. The thousand petal lotus is a symbol originating from Hindu spirituality. It is associated with the crown chakra, that is the top of the head chakra, and it represents awakening and enlightenment. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new document. And we give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we go to View Guides. And we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we go here to Snapping. We make sure that Snapping is enabled. As well as Snap to Guide. And Snap to Object Bounding Boxes. And then we take the Ellipse tool. We set the Fill and the Stroke to None. And then from the middle of the composition and while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and to keep the proportion one to one, we go ahead and we draw a circle of around 1700 pixels in dimensions. And then we go ahead and we take the cock tool and the same thing from the middle of the composition and while holding Ctrl and Shift, we go ahead and we expand the cog until it snaps to the circle. So make sure that they are snapped together. And then we we'll go back to the cog. We need to arrange the cog so that it has triangular teeth, like this. So we go back to the figure. We set the number of teeth to 36. And here we need to increase the inner radius to around 93. And here the whole radius, we don't need it. We set it to 0%. Here, tooth size, we also set it to 0% because we need the teeth to be triangular, like this. And here, notch size, we also set it to 0 to make the teeth perfect triangles, like this. So now we have the cog shape as we need it to be. So we select both the cog and the ellipse. And now we are going to color the shapes created by the intersection of both objects. So to do this, we take the vector float field tool. We set the color to purple. So the crown chakra is usually purple. And then we go ahead and we color all the intersections, like this. Okay, then we take the move tool. We select the cog and the ellipse that we started with. And then we delete them because we are not going to need them anymore. And then we select all the color shapes that we created by pressing Ctrl A. And now we click on the Add Operator to bring them together into one object. So now we have the first iteration of petals of the lotus. So what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate it and rotate it to create the other iterations of the figure. So to do this we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the shape. And here we go to Enable Transform Origin to make sure that the rotation center of the figure is in the middle of the composition. And before we rotate, we are going to enable snapping on this one, not to be hindered by snapping while we scale down. And then we are going to rotate. So we have 36 teeth overall, and each of the teeth has 10 degrees of the figure. So in order to rotate by half the teeth, we need to rotate by 5 degrees. So we set 5 degrees in the Transform panel. And now we are going to scale it down while holding Ctrl and Shift, like this. Until the corners of the three triangles match here, as you can see. And now once we have created the second iteration of the shape, we can go ahead and we can power duplicate by pressing Ctrl J to create all the other iterations that we need. So now we have all the iterations that we need for the figure. And lastly, I'll create a purple circle here in the middle of the composition. So I will activate snapping again. And while holding Ctrl and Shift, I expand the circle tool. And I set its fill color to the same as the petals. Now I'm going to scale it down. So I'm going to enable snapping to scale it down to be sure that there is no hindrance. So and now while holding Ctrl and Shift, 
I am going to scale it down until it lies here, right here at the first iteration of petals. And if we want to make it more dynamic, we can add a radial gradient to the circle. So we will take the gradient tool, we set the type to radial. So the center figure, I will set it to a lighter purple. And here, the outer part of the figure, I will set it to the same color as the petal. Like this, and we can expand the gradient a bit. And lastly, if we want, we can add a bit of noise to the figure. So we press on Ctrl A to select all the elements of the figure. And here we click on the dot here at opacity. And we add a bit of noise, maybe not too much, around 20% or so. And this completes the figure. So you learn how to create a thousand petal lotus in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.